I hope everyone is holding up well at home. So we'll continue with where we stopped at the last time. Okay, but I won't be doing a lot. So if there's any question that you have, you can always WhatsApp me. Okay, right. So this is your notes, your Trigo notes, chapter 6 notes, page 7. Okay, so example 3 is asking us to use Trigo ratio to find the length of the unknown sides. Okay, the unknown sides of a right angle triangle. So right now we have the angle y x z and we also have the length x z okay remember what i told you all first thing you do is always to label your o a and h okay so i label hypotenuse opposite my right angle and then this is my known angle reference angle so that will be my opposite and adjacent will be the left over length find the length of x y Okay, so next thing I have to ask myself, what I have, what I want to find. Okay, so that would help me determine whether to use Tua, Ka, or So. Okay, if you are hearing a bird in the background, that's my father's bird. <laughs> okay, so X, Y... Is what I want to find and XZ is what I have so A and H Tua Ka So I will use cosine so let me write down cosine angle given equals to A over H which is 4.6 over hypotenuse XY okay when unknown is at the bottom what you do is sort position xy equals to 4.6 over cosine 63. Press in the calculator. 4.6 divided by cosine 63. Make sure that your calculator is also in degree mode. Your answer would be 10.1324. 3SF, 10.1 meter. Okay, just a reminder, answer is also given for you to check. Okay, so can I give you some time? Go ahead and work on example 4. Pause the video and... Yep. We'll go on to the next page. Okay, so next page. I have PQRS, angle PQR... And angle PRS is 90 degree, given that PR is 8.8, .8, PRQ is 48, and PSR is 50 degree. Find the length of QR. So QR is what I want to find. First thing I do is to label my right angle triangle, hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent. So I want to find QR, and what I have is PR. Okay, so what I have is PR. So A, H, so cosine. 48 is equals to QR over 8.8. Now unknown is on top. Okay, so what I have to do is just to bring over 8.8. I'll get QR. So I click in the calculator. Cosine. 48, I'll get 5.8883, round off to 3SF. Okay, next we have length of PS. So let's see, length of PS is what I want to find. Okay, but let me just label it first. Hypotenuse opposite adjacent. What I have is PR. So O and H to our castle, I would use your right sine. So sine 50 is equals to O over H. Now unknown is at the bottom. Remember to do your swap. Swap the position. Find PS. 
So some of you might be thinking of doing inverse. Remember, you only do inverse when you're finding anger. Okay. Okay. So I have 11.5 meter over the 3SF. And the length of RS. RS. So same thing, I have A, I mean I have H, uh, I, I have opposite and I want to find the adjacent, so tangent instead. Over 8.8 over RS. So you know the drill, uh, unknown at the bottom, just have to swap the position of tangent 50 and RS. Press in the calculator, you should be able to find RS. Calculator in degree mode. Okay, so 7.38 meter. There you go. One full page, all done. That's all for today. Tomorrow, I'll be sharing with you how to find unknown angles. Okay?